I believe that resiliency is a foundational trait, whether you're an elite athlete or just a human being on this planet. I mean, let's face it, despite the most well-laid plans, you will encounter setbacks. But resiliency means that instead of seeing that setback as an insurmountable wall, you're ready to dig deep, get creative, be patient and necessary, and take the small steps to get up, over, around that wall and get to the future that you know is possible. Over my 20 year career with the US ski team, I definitely faced some setbacks. There were a few injuries and illnesses along the way. And I remember at the time they felt devastating, but instead of feeling like a lost cause, I pulled my team around me. I focused on the things that I could do, even if they were different than what I was used to doing. And I saw it as an opportunity to get stronger. And I'll tell you that in every case, I did come back stronger. I unlocked a whole level of performance I didn't even know I had. This actually happened to me six weeks before Jesse Diggins and I won the first ever gold medal in cross country skiing at the Pyeongchang Olympics. Thanks to all that practice, I knew I just had to stay focused on what I could do. And I think I came in with a more powerful mindset than any other Olympics. I've been pretty fortunate in my life to have some pretty incredible role models when it comes to resiliency. My aunt Betsy Haynes was a US ski team member at age 16 and one of the first racers on course at the 1980 Olympics in Lake Placid. Back then, a lot of people didn't even think that women could cross country ski safely. It was tough going in those days to prove that the women were strong and that they deserved a chance to compete for medals. What they did back in those days set the stage for me to come into the sport at a time when I could believe in the possibility of winning that medal. It took a long time and a lot of resiliency for our, in our entire program. And for me, it took me almost 20 years to win that Olympic gold medal. But resiliency is so incredibly important and we need to back our athletes now to allow them to let that resiliency shine because there are many more medals in our future. And more importantly, our athletes can be incredible role models to the next generation on why resiliency matters.